Hey, hello. Today we are going to discuss about the MEMS and NEMS devices. In full name, the Micro Electromechanical Systems and Nano Electromechanical Systems. These are one of the emerging areas today and lot of work is going on around the globe. In this unit, we will discuss about the introduction and application of micro and nano systems and their fabrications. The micro electromechanical systems are of the size of 1 to 100 micrometer and that converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy and vice versa. It basically consists of a micro electronic elements, actuators, sensors and mechanical structures built onto a substrate commonly the silicon substrate. There are uh, basically three steps uh, in the fabrications uh, actually the deposition, pack turning and etching. Due to their small size they can exhibit certain characteristics that their micro, micro equivalent cannot. The MEMS produce the benefit in speed, complexity, power conceptions, device area and system integrations. One of the main criteria of the MEMS device is that they are at least some elements that have mechanical functionality whether or not they can move. The functional elements of MEMS are miniaturized structures, sensors, actuators and microelectronics. In most general form, MEMS consist of a mechanical microstructures, uh, micro sensors, micro actuators and microelectronics all integrated onto a same silicon chip. This is, uh, uh, these are the schematic of a device and these micro sensors uh, that actually gather the data from the outside and the microelectronics which is also called the brain of the MEM systems that receives, process and make decisions and the micro actuators uh, act as the trigger to activate external device and uh, the microstructures are these uh, extremely small structures built onto the surface of chip built right into the silicon microchip. There are many applications and advantages for the MEM systems basically because of this uh, miniaturized size multiplicity and ability to directly integrate the device into a microelectronics. The multiplicity refers as the large number of devices and design can be rapidly manufactured lowering the price per unit. The size of MEMS device is comparable to the electronic chips allow their integration directly onto the chip. Moreover, the surface area to volume ratio is so large that the surface is effect can be much more important in micro region hence a mechanical behavior can be altered by a thin coating of material. Uh, it can also found to be useful across uh, many fields like automotive, medical, electronic communications and defense applications. Some of the uh, commonly used applications are the uh, accelerometers for airbag sensors, inject printers, and uh, blood pressure sensors etc. The basic fabrication process consists of the depositions uh, is actually deposit the thin film onto the material uh, the thin films of the size few nanometer to 100 micrometer and uh, there are different methods as we learned earlier the physical methods like physical vapor deposition sputtering and there are also chemical methods and uh, norm normally using substrates are silicon, glass, quartz, etc. And later on, these uh, coated films have to be part, uh, this patterning has to be transferred in order to prepare for etching. And there are different techniques included for patterning like uh, lithography, photolithography, etc. And the etching process normally there are two types one is uh, wet etching where the deep substrate is dipped into some chemical solutions so that uh, select we can selectively remove the materials. There is also dry etchings where material uh, sputtered or dissolved from the substrate uh, using some plasma or gas variations. 
now we'll uh, go into some of the normal applications uh, if you see the in 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 the automotive industry for example in cars there are different type of sensors uh, like fuel pressure sensors there are uh, uh, pressure sensors for the tire a air pressure sensors are there there is also accelerometer for airbag systems so there are different type of mems devices has been used in uh, this kind of automotives so in this uh, we will study one of the particular applications where the mems accelerometer technology so in order to activate the airbag in an automobile so in this case the core element of this mems accelerometer is a moving beam structures as you see here the central beam which is uh, we can move these beams and there are two fixed plates uh, these these two fixed plates are there so when there is no accelerator as been applied the separation between these two these plates are the center plates and these two plates are same on application of an acceleration which changes the uh, this central beam will be moved to one of these directions so that the separation between these two uh, these two will be uh, these two uh, the fixed one and the central one will be changed so that will create a capacitance a change in capacitance so that will uh, trigger a pulse of current through the heating coil embedded in the sodium acide so that is actually the na n3 so this heating causes the rapid decomposition of this acid material thereby producing nitrogen gas which actually inflates the airbag so this is the chemical reactions so basically uh, as you see here uh, on application of this uh, accelerometer the central beam will be moved to the right side so that the separation is changed between the fixed one and the movable one so the capacitance is changed so here the cs2 is greater than cs1 so cs2 the between the central second one and the central one so the since the separation is smaller the capacitance is higher and this capacitance is smaller so this change in capacitance will produce a current pulse which inflates which causes the inflation of this uh, airbag system so this is one of the application of this mem devices the challenges uh, co commonly uh, challenges based on the energy efficient efficiency and supply so uh, normally this mems device for example uh, we we can say the, about the artificial retina so it need power so we need to have some in vivo batteries for the this kind of medical devices so there are challenging uh, challenges based on the packaging for example the size uh, also durability of this kind of device biocompatibility if you want to implant into the body it has to be biocompatible so uh, this kind of uh, we need to have such devices for doing this kind of thing so there are now we'll discuss about uh, nems devices that is nano electromechanical systems in nems uh, which has uh, hold promise to improve the ability to measure very small displacement and forces at molecular scales uh, basically there are two approaches uh, for fabrication of nem devices one is top down approach where uh, we are reducing the size to from micro level to nano level the other approach is bottom up approach which can be thought of as putting together single atoms or molecule until a desired level of complexity and functionality has been achieved into the devices so that is called the bottom up approach basically a nano level uh, nano machines uh, in which one of the dimension of the system will be of the order of uh, 10 nanometer so here you see di uh, different devices and machines in nano level and this is uh, one of the challenges uh, in order to fabricate the device in this two level but it has got many applications because 
we can uh, control the displacement and forces of the order of uh, in the molecular level so which has got a lot of applications basically a molecular machine is a molecular object made of at least two components of which can uh, one can be put in motion with respect to other by an external signal like electricity light or chemical reagents so here you'll see a nano tube actuator so basically an actuator means which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy or vice versa like mechanical energy into electrical energy so what you see here is a carbon nano tube based uh, actuator so which is made of uh, uh, as you see here uh, we have two strips of nano nano carbon nanotube which is bind together using some uh, you know double sided tape at the center this white portion is a double sided tape and these black two black portions are carbon nanotubes <coughs> and all this uh, this all things are placed in NaCl electro electrolytic solutions so without application of any voltage this uh, there is no changing shape but when you applied a positive one to one of the tube and negative one to the other electrode you can see that there is a bending and when you change the electrodes here the negative one to this side and positive to other side it is bending to the other direction so by applying an electric field we are changing we are making it movable in both direction <coughs> basically you can see that the negative side it is elongating the carbon nanotube is elongated then other side when you apply positive voltage to one of the side that will be constrained uh, reducing its size so which is basically an electrically controlled mechanical switch so this is one of the things and there are many advantages of a nano devices though the fabrication there are many challenges to fabricate uh, into that level uh, one of the advantage is that because the effective mass of the nano side beams will be very smaller so its resonant frequencies which should be very sensitive to slight changes in mass so that means the frequency so if you are uh, forming a beam nano beam out of this uh, nano sized beams the frequency can be affected by uh, absorption of a small number of atoms on to, or to, onto its surface which could basically uh, have high sensitivity kind of sensor the second thing is the quality factor which is defined as the energy stored divided by the energy dissipated per cycle for nano sized cantilever which is having a very high q value and it dissipate little energy as they oscillate so such devices are highly sensitive to external damping which is essential in making sensing devices <coughs> the high q values means less thermomechanical noise uh, means significantly less random mechanical fluctuations uh, the nems oscillators have q values which is about 100 a thousand times of uh, high q electrical devices the nems devices require very little power uh, to drive them uh, for example pico watt of power can drive the nems devices uh, with low signal to noise ratios so we basically discuss uh, which is actually an introduction to this uh, mi micro electromechanical systems and nano electromechanical systems in the next class, we'll uh, talk about the uh, fabrications of these nanoscale devices.